I start with an explanation. I'm using the performativity of publication and the performativity of gender in a performance of butch rhetoric. With this video, I'm embracing the visible nature of butch. You see butch and you know what she is. With these words, I'm acknowledging you, the audience, the ideas of butch that you bring to this space, situating butch in your life, and acknowledging the privileging of the immediately visible undermining what you think an academic publication, a video, a grad student, a woman, a butch, should be. So I start with a description. What is butch? So often a way of being seen, but also a way of seeing. A gaze, a landing place, an arrival at a hard-fought destination, an identity, a name I claim with all my might. Feminist and butch, queer and butch, lesbian and butch, scholar and butch, writer and butch, crisscrossing, overlapping, intersecting, digesting, living, breathing, feeling fucking butch, an embodied explanation for playground crushing, boys clothes wearing, penny loafers scratching, slowly blossoming, flower. Yes, a way of seeing, you see, a way of being, a way of knowing. I resist the notion of butch as a hybrid identity of man and woman. Butch is not caught in the fictitious web between the two, but proposes a view of masculinity in the soft curves of a female body. It isn't that butch resists description, but floats hard to pin down with mere words. A shape begins to form, but at once shifts infinitely into infinity, another stop along the way to an endless destination. Pouring blood and sweat and milk and cum and tears, yes dear, a butch. That vision at the end of the double take, those hips, those tits, your mind is having a fit, holy shit, it is not an it, it is a woman. Which now begs the question, does butch belong to the female body? Does butch belong to woman? I dither here, unsure of which identity to decree or decry. What comes first, the woman or the butch, the feminist or the queer? None of these mean that much to me without the other, and I believe close to wholeheartedly that this shit matters, that it can be a cog in the old, clunking along university machine and still make an actual difference in the actual lives of actual people, because why else are we here? Butch is stoic and tender, sensitive and tragic, flawed and fucked, hard, soft, pudgy, skinny, fat, Ridden and riding, top, bottom, switch, sideways, tri bait, anyway, every way, sinners and winners, silicone wieners, cowboys and tomboys, leather dykes and leather daddies, mothers and fuckers, sisters and brothers. Butch is exactly what you think it is, and butch is nothing that you ever expected. The problem with defining is that a definition sticks. A definition that sticks is then stable, however brief, however temporary, however constructed. A thing with a capital T, with stuff with capital S's, that pull to extremes, this or that, here or there. Therefore, I need to insist on room in this description for resistance, for movement, for everything that gets left out that remains lost and unknowable, like butch as raced and classed. To know butch, we must also know stud, aggressive, matcha, gender queer, masculine of center, and two spirit. Butch is also described by its relations to men, to trans men, and to femmes. With men, it's how we are different, how we are the same. Our butches just want to be men, and the people who love and fuck butches just wish we were men. In relation to trans men, how butches are just pre op trans men, how trans men are just post op butches. And in relation to femmes, our gender fucking companions in history, eternally and fatally, femme hyphen butch joined in struggle and solidarity, daring to love and fuck in a world that jailed, shamed, and murdered people that loved and fucked as femmes and butches. From this, we are left with a conversation about the value and privilege of visibility and invisibility. 
and we owe it to the lives and legacies of our femme and butch elders to have this conversation and let their audacity not stand for nothing. Bar culture, leather dykes, bull daggers, lipstick and lace. Three articles of clothing appropriate to one's gender. That dimly lit, dingy dyke bar where femmes and butches exchange stories and tongues while cleaning each other's wounds is a part of me. The me speaking to you, asking to be worthy of learning from. All together now, huddled under the umbrella slash field slash discipline slash some other metaphor for describing a collection of folks interested in the same thing, where butch is a seldom uttered word. You see, butch is rhetoric at work. A process of becoming a persuasion written on the body. One thing that pulls us all together is our belief in the power of writing. Writing ourselves to understand our communities, families, religions, governments, identities. Writing ourselves into existence while writing ourselves extinct. Writing to see ourselves. Writing to see ourselves seen. I write butch with my collection of neckties, freshly ironed shirts, blue jeans, and boots, a mess of hair product on my head, and aluminum-free deodorant in my hairy armpits. Decisions I've strung together to tell you I'm butch. I write butch with this video, carefully chosen moving images strung together to tell you part of a story. And these words I speak to you now, strung together to complete a performance of butch for an academic audience. Having already waded the waters of self-loathing and shame, Butch enters quiet, unassuming in the periphery. You see her eventually. She sees you seeing her. She's been watching this space, and she's been listening, patient, going about her business, expecting the confusion and boundary guarding, quite comfortable navigating the stairs, the sneers, the whispers, the side glances down upturned, disgusted, flared nostril noses. Butch comes from the deepest part of me, that's how I understand myself, that's how I understand the world. A way of being seen, a way of seeing. I can tell you that this feels dangerous. Dangerous because Butch rattles the hold men have on masculinity. A grip so tight it has choked us into oppositional divisions. Patriarchy, capitalism, and war all depend on these partitions. Dangerous because I'm putting a foundational understanding of myself out and up for scrutiny. But I get this because I live this on my body, in seeing being seen. I add this performance to a lineage of work on Butch. Leslie Feinberg, Joan Nestle, Christos, Gail Rubin, Shane Phelan, Jack Halberstam. I'm walking through the door opened by Michelle Gibson, Deb Meme, and Martha Marinera back in 2000. And I'm here now, authentic as right now ever can be, finding ways to show you Butch. We are fortunate to be here, to be gathered in this time, speaking queer, writing queer into existence here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for seeing me, see you seeing me. I implore you to know the names of those who think their work is such a concept as queer, who are asking to be paid for it and insisting that we can offer this field something new.